Now we are about to use an attribute selector here and the purpose of this attribute selector is to target a specific attribute and to impose all the properties those been defined previously by the developer. So this is the exact function of an attribute selector and we are going to use it over here. Now let's check out this particular syntax here. We are providing div this one now we will be defining about this class and we will be saying what was the name of the div paragraph tester so let's check the spell here there it goes another thing in case of web it is always good to copy and paste that means you are reusing your sources you are reusing and redistributing but do not create anything on your own because that may cause you to, a, to an error and perhaps you may not be able to locate it so it is wise to copy and paste in every cases now we can see that this is a certain kind of syntax where we are providing another background color here so here goes the background color we are providing a background color of yellow now uh, let's assume that there goes a bluish background color so if we now press ctrl s and now if we get back to our project we will be seeing that our div or block element which is practically holding a class name of paragraph tester it is now having a background color of blue or cyan whatever you say so what is the exact reason we have defined here that any div which has a class of paragraph tester it will be having a background color of blue so this is what is being exactly provided over here and we are specifying this with this particular attribute of paragraph tester here so anything that matches with this paragraph tester class it will be having a background color of blue so this is what is been observed over here currently now in other sense if we do not wish to use any kind of deep specification over here then we might omit this one let's omit this one press ctrl s get back to your project and you will see that everything is okay and fine there's practically no problem with the output or with the display of this particular thing so we can use both of them we can use that any div which is using a class of paragraph tester that will be having a background color of this one or you can omit this div and you can mention that any class name with a name of paragraph tester it will be targeted and it will be having a background color of a blue or cyan now after this we will be now seeing how to target some specific hrefs here some hyperlink references over here now in that particular case first of all let's get back to the menu part that we have created there it goes this is the menu holder that we have created so far and here comes this menu holder you will list a that we have defined you may mention it somewhere else there it goes now if we mention it here as a href let's check this one with the font size so we will be increasing this font size to 3m so what is the exact meaning of this syntax we can see that any attribute any link which has a hyperlink reference set to this hash it will be having this particular font size of 3em now if we get back to our project we can see that already the changes is been reflected we can see that every single menu element it is practically enhanced in size it is now having a greater size of 3em so it is now working another thing if we get back to our project now and if we say that instead of this 3em we will be having this color of for say this one and if we press ctrl s and get back to our project we will see 
that there is no font size right now as we haven't defined any kind of font size over here. All we cared about is the color of this particular menu or nav elements. But we can see there is practically no change in those nav. We can see that there is practically no color change. It is intact. So if we get back to our stylesheet.css, we can see that we have already set this color here. We have set this color to white and this is what is being exactly seen over here. The white color is being imposed to this nav elements. So instead of putting this one here, all we can do, we can add an important feature to it. Now if we press Ctrl S and get back to our project, we can see that already this color change is now reflected here. And in this particular syntax, all it is doing any linking element which has a hyperlink reference set to hashtag, it will be adopting to this particular property. Now in the last case, we will be now having some kind of extra things over here such as now we are about to uh, make some changes into this particular images, those we have used so far. Like as we can see here, this is the image holder image. That means we have used an image somewhere into our project and let's chalk it out. Where is this image holder? There it goes, image holder. Now we can see that this is an image holder over here. So the changes in the first case, all we are going to do, instead of a single one, we will be now creating another one and we will now change the title of this particular image instead of nature. We will be providing something else over here such as hello or anything that you wish. Title is the sole creation of yours. So if we get back to our project, we can see that these two images are now imposed. All of them are having equal properties. All we have done here, we have placed both, the, both these images into image holder div. Instead of this one, you do not need to do this particular case. Just copy this one, put it down here. And instead of nature, you may use here color, whatever you wish. This is just a testing purpose. No need to think about the output. Just see that it is acting accordingly or not. So here it is. Both of these two images, those are being observed over here. Let's get back to stylesheet.css. And here we are providing this particular syntax, which will be known as title. What was the title that we have provided so far here? It was nature. So we are providing the exact same title here and now we are defining that it will be having some properties of border for say 10 pigs solid with a color of yellow. Now what have we done over here? We have defined that the images with a title name of nature, those will be having a border property of 10 peaks, the border will be solid and it will be yellow in nature. Now if we press Ctrl S and if we get back to our project, we can see that already a 10 peaks solid border is been provided into the first image. Another thing, this border is not practically yellow, it is blue. This is due to the fact that we have provided all those filter properties over here. We have used these filter properties, so first of all, let's put an end to it. We are just commenting it off. There it goes. We have commented it off over here. Now if we get back to our project, we can see that these images are right now back into normalcy. And we can see that in case of this first image, there is a border of 10 peaks solid and yellow. But in case of second image, there is no such thing present over here. So why it is? We have provided that any image which will be having a title of nature, it will be having this property. So anything which do not have this title, those won't be matched with the properties has been defined over here. So these properties won't be reflected into it. And if we get back to index.html, we can see that in this first image, we have used this title nature. But in case of this second image, we have used this title hello. 
So that is why in first case we can see that there is a presence of a 10 pix solid border but in case of a second image there is no such border. But right now if we get back to our project and if we provide this nature title here and if we get back we can see that both of these images those are practically having this yellow border because both of them are right now following the same title here nature and that is why both of them are now following these properties as being depicted in, into this particular syntax the title with the value of nature so this is what been executed over here now again change it to follow press ctrl s get back to your project and you can see that the same thing will be happening here the second image it is practically not following this particular condition has been depicted here this title nature and that is why it is now executing this kind of display to you so these are some advanced css selectors those been discussed in this tutorial in the next tutorial we will be customizing our form elements with some advanced css selectors those we will be discussing in our next tutorial so stay tuned enjoy learning and do not forget to subscribe us thank you for watching